Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Well, the last two years, I know for myself as a business owner, and especially being a woman business owner, they have been the, the, the most difficult two years as well as the most enlightening two years. And with me today, I have Suzanne Evans. She is with Suzanne Evans Coaching, and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. What do you find that is the, I don't know if this is the right word, but maybe the biggest mistake that women make either in launching or running a business? They're waiting for perfection, right? As women, as mothers, as sisters, as kind of the nurturers of the world, we like things to be all right, right, and all packaged and all perfect. Is that that OCD I have? I, yes, I think so. <laughs> we like things to be perfect. So they're really going, I'm waiting to hear my purpose. You know, I'm waiting for the skies to part and someone to announce what I'm to be doing in business. And it never happens that way. As you know, being in business, it's, there is no finish line. Right. It's a journey. And the biggest mistake I see is they have an idea or they have a desire and they never act on it. It's like having this dream, almost playing it out to the T, but never really let, allowing it to come to fruition. Absolutely. And I think that is the perfection syndrome in women. I mean, that's why we earn 80 cents on the dollar. It's why most Fortune 500 companies are run by men. It's why still our businesses, while we're starting businesses faster, in many, uh, in many places and times, our businesses are failing faster because we wait for permission. Guys don't. In this current economy, what would be that? What would be the solution to that problem? Well, we need. I mean, small business is the answer to the economic issue because small business owners have the ability to expand faster, but with really difficult regulations and there being a credit crunch, that has really been the problem. So, if we could loosen some of the regulations, if we could allow a little more credit to flow in, because cash flow is the biggest demon, right, to small business owners. You you can do more. I mean, we're opening a physical office for the first time. We've been virtual for four years. We're opening a physical office. We've employed three local people in the last months. We're moving two people, one person from Arizona, sorry, Arizona, one person from Virginia. And all of a sudden, we have an office with seven to nine people in it that is pumping into the economy where we live. Now, we had to do that. We started our business with $47. We have never had a business loan. We have never had a line of credit. And we do $3 million in revenue. And we have had to do that by bootstrapping it because of regulations. Not everybody can do what we did. I mean, we coach people and help people to do it. So the more we can help the small business owner, the more jobs that are created, the more jobs that are created, the more people spend. It is the solution to the economic crisis. Right. What inspires you to do what you do? Oh, personally, um, I am really committed to having girls and women in this world educated. So I have something called the Global Impact Project, where we focus on getting money, time, and funds into places where girls and women would not have the ability to get education. We put 264 women in Zimbabwe, girls, I should say, in, in Zimbabwe through school this year. Um, we are building a village in Kenya, actually, um, that will provide water agriculture, um, schooling for the entire family. And I'll be in Zimbabwe in June actually hands-on doing mentoring of women business owners there. So making money is great. I love to employ people, right? I love creating opportunity. But what gets me out of bed in the morning is going, how many more girls can I get into school? Because if we educate a woman, we educate the world. Well, I have been reading your book. Uh, it's decision time. 365 days of sarcasm, <laughs> success, and strategies for you to make more money. And and you know, it's it's a home run. It's, it Thank makes you. sense. It just makes sense. And you know, what what in I guess what is your greatest? What has been your greatest achievement? Oh, I think being able to do this from nothing. You know, no loan, no, you know, I wish I'd had a rich cousin, you know, that wanted to be an investor, but really going, I have $47 and I have a skill set. How can I grow that? And so for me, and that's where most people are. You know, most people don't have the investor. Most people don't have, you know, venture capitalists. Most people can't even get a credit card these right. days. So how you can take a nominal amount of money and start a home-based business, which is where mine started, and then grow it into, you know, a multi-million dollar company where we do have a facility now. We have an off facility. We were joking the other day. Somebody said, I want to come see your facility. We said, we have an office. <laughs> 
<laughs> but we're getting it'll it will be a facility. But that's what I'm most proud of is that you can do something from nothing. And so when I hear people say, Oh, but this person had or this person got no. You have, and that's what's so beautiful about this country, you have the ability to start anything you want. You can't do it out of desire, though. You have to do it out of decision, which means every time you get knocked down, and we've been knocked down thousands of times a year, you get back up, you create a plan B, you create a new strategy, and you get back in the game. So your coaching, in your coaching, um, people can find you via your website, via a phone right. number, just via your company, yes. and they can um, achieve information from, or, or, or I guess, uh, We have maybe, products and programs. Okay. We have products that teach you exactly how to build your business step by step. We have programs that do everything from teach you how to build your business to handhold you for a year. You know, so it's a, it's a variety of ways that you can get information on how to make money, get clients, start your business, and it's everything from the mindset it takes to do it, to the literal marketing, to the strategy, to the business development that it takes to do it. So that's what we do, soup to nuts, helping people build businesses. The majority of our um, clients are women, but we also take men who really like women, and uh, <laughs> we let them in too because we have good information. But absolutely, it's everything from do-it-yourself products to hand-holding programs. So if you had one thought, one idea, one thing that could allow somebody to be successful, what would that be? What, how, what, what do you share that idea to be? Desire is not enough. You have to make a decision. And you don't make the decision just once. You make it on an hourly basis, sometimes 20 times an hour. Because desire means that you have a drive and a want to do something. Decision means that you have burned all resources of retreat. And it doesn't matter what happens to your family. It doesn't matter what happens to your circle of influence. It doesn't matter what happens to the economic situation in your country. You are doing this despite and in spite of all of it. And so that's why I said it's decision time. If you make the decision, to do something, you eliminate all other options. Suzanne, thank you so much for being with us today. It was inspirational and thank I appreciate you. your time. Thank you. Thank you. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.